Hey family, hope you had a beautiful Sunday. Where am I? <laughs> you already know. So let's get started, shall we? Well, this morning I woke up with a happy thought and sometimes I give them to you right away and then sometimes I have to let them kind of marinate throughout the day to be completed and then I share it, share it with you guys. So this happy thought, I hope you get a word from it, a great understanding. I hope it encourages somebody. I'm always here trying to encourage, never to discourage because I'm doing it with all my love. Okay, so here goes. You know, when you think about um, building a home or a building, you have to have your materials and you have to have your power tools. So in this building, your materials, I'm sure you have like your wood, your screws, your um, cement, um, anglers. I, I'm guessing right now I've never built a house or a building, but I think that's what you would need in order to build or even if you're going to remodel, you may want to change your room around. So you may want to paint, you may want to do some curtains or add a little island in the kitchen or something, or if you're just fully reconstructing, you may have to break it all the way down and just start over. Who knows? So in our daily lives within our building, we have to do the same thing. We have to sometimes maintain it or remodel it or sometimes go full out reconstruction, okay? But in order to do that, we also need the tools, or shall I say the materials and the power tools. So I'm gonna give you an example of some of the materials you may need to build this house or this home or this building back up that it will stand. Sometimes we become somewhat arrogant, this building does. And we need to bring the materials in to stop this arrogancy. That's being humble. Sometimes we become boastful and we need the materials to rip that out and put in modesty. Sometimes the house is full of hate and we have to bring in those materials of love. Sometimes even the house becomes so impatient and we need to find the materials of being patient. Sometimes the house is full of greed and we gotta get the materials of generosity. And then sometimes that house is so envious, we've got to have our glad, glad, or be happy for materials. Now you got your materials of just being humble and modest and full of love and patience and generosity and being glad for your fellow man. Now that you have your materials, you need your power tools. So your power tools would be, first and foremost, salvation, okay? Secondly, we need to continue to read our Bible. That is like the, the big, I guess the big drill or the big cement truck, the Bible. Then we also have to pray, pray, pray. That's our architect. They, the prayer is just, it's, it's covering all the angles. Okay? And also, we have to fast. So that our home will be able to stand, our home will become that structure of what it is to stand for Christ. I just want to ask you, how's your building? See ya.